Have you ever wondered how God gets big things accomplished? Take a look at 1 Kings chapter 5 and 6. In 1 Kings chapter 5, Solomon is going to build the temple. But look at how he does it. God uses the foundation that David laid. David laid a foundation of a relationship with a guy named Hiram, the king of Tyre. He loved David. He made strategic treaties with, with good men. And with that treaty, Solomon was able to get all the timber that he needed from Tyre. With the Sidonians who were masters and skilled at cutting down timbers. David had the foundation of peace. All the nations around, they were at peace with. David laid the foundation of money. He had a lot of money he had set aside for his son to do this job. Now, what did Solomon bring to the table? Organization and wisdom. First, he got Adoniram to be the organizer of the whole thing. He says, you're going to be in charge of the project. I have the vision. I'm going to oversee it, but you're in charge of the details. And then he put middle managers under them. And these middle managers were over professionals who were very skilled at each of their trades, whether it was floating logs down the river or crafting that log into something amazing. But then he was wise about how he created the shifts. The shifts were on and off. So the people weren't away from home for a long period of time. Now here's the thing. If God wanted to build a temple, he could have sent angels to build a temple. But God didn't do that, and God won't do that for the projects that you have going on in your life. Whatever needs to get done, God wants to use two things to get those things done in your life. Work and wisdom, along with a foundation that may already be there. So today, ask God for wisdom to see the projects He wants you to do, how to get those things done wisely, and a spirit to work. Nehemiah 4, 6, the Bible says this, So built we the wall, and all the wall was joined together into the half thereof, for the people had a mind to work. It takes work and wisdom to get big things done. God's not going to send an angel to do it for you. He's not going to answer a prayer and voila, this thing's done. He's going to give you wisdom, and he's going to give you a spirit of work. Ask him for those two things today.